So this is the last part of my course. I want to see if there is anything left. I want to go to Control Canada. Mostly things are here. And one of the things that I want to talk about is printing. So if I go to Devices and Printers, I can see the printers installed in this one. You can see that I have a Canon inkjet and this is the printer that is set uh, as a default printer and I can tell this because I can see this check here. This means that whenever I am going to print something, this is the first printer appearing in the list of printers. So let me show you. If I try to go, for example, to Docs and open this and try to print it, I can go to select print from file menu. You can see that a list of printers appears here, appear here, and, and, and this is the first thing as you can see, this is selected by default because this is the default printer of my you know uh, list of printers. Now if I want to change the preferences of this printer, I can go to preferences and I can select to have the paper as portrait or landscape. I can print on both sides if I want to. Some printers flip the paper automatically. Some of them wait for you to flip the paper. And I can select the order of page. If I have multiple pages, I can select to, you know, uh, print from the last page or print from the first page. And of course, I can select the paper size. If I go to advanced tab here, I can select the paper size that is supported by this type of printer. Your printer may have a long list of paper size. And of course, I can select to have it uh, in black or white, grayscale, or in color. Okay, cancel this out. In case you want to cancel again. And I don't want to, you know, print this. But if I want to change the printer properties, I can do this. I can right click on the printer, go to printer properties here. By clicking on printer properties, I can see some tabs and these are different between different printers. If you have another type of printer, you may see another list of tabs here. But some of items are, you know, uh, the same. If I click on preferences again, I can see the same dialog box here. I can go to sharing and select to share this printer. If I share it, my colleagues that are connected to this network, I am connected in, they can find this printer and they can use it to print their own documents. I can go to ports and see the port that is used by this printer. Normally, the LTT1 is the port. In advance, I have some items that is a little different between different printers, but again, you can select the priority of this printer. If you have multiple printers, this is good to set the priority, and the more the priority, uh, the less is the you know the probability probability of using that printer. And and we can spooling uh, have uh, we can check the spooling here. Start printer immediately. This is going to start the printing job right now right away. If I have a print job, but I can have. Uh, you know, have multiple pages uh, being spooled and then start printing. For example, if I want to print in bunches, I will go and select the start printing after the last page is spooled. Uh, and I want to print, for example, 10 pages, well, 10 pages, if this is the way I'm going to do. Uh, but if I start printing immediately, if I have a very long document, it just starts as soon as it receives the document without even waiting for the whole printing job to receive it. Okay. And I have print full documents first. Um, I can keep printing documents or things like that. These are not so important. Let me go to color management. If I have a color printer, I can set color management item. I can set a profile for this. Right now you can see that I don't have any profile. But normally when you add a laser printer, actually a laser printer has a lot of profiles that you can select here. These are all profiles and uh, for example the RGB profile is here, but you can have multiple profiles as I told you. Let me close this. 
here I have a security and this is very important. You can set security for different users. I am the owner of this printer. As John, you can see that I can print, I can manage the printer and I can manage the document. But you can, you know, add other users and just let them to print their own document. They cannot manage document, they cannot manage the printer. And what is the meaning of managing document? Actually, if you right click on your printer, and click on see what is printing, that look box opens here that show you the list or the queue of the printing items. You can, I want to show you something, let me press it. If I go here and click on print, and click on print, it tells us, you can see right now that I have things were printing. Here I have an error because my printer is turned off, but uh, you could see Printing, you could see waiting, you could see queue or anything here for a status. But right away, if I want to uh, right click on this and pause the printing, I can do. If I want to restart the printing, or if I want to cancel the printing, or even if I want to change the properties of this printing, all of these are possible for me because I have the permission to do that. If I go to printer properties and go to security, I can see that. I have the permissions for this, but if I, uh, you know, go for everyone, I can see that they can only print. And as I told you, I can add other users or groups of users here and manage them, and you know, let them just print, let them to manage document, or let them manage printing. So this is what is important about printing. Let me cancel this printing. I don't want it to be there. By canceling this, it may take a little while to you know disappear, and after that, that's going to be removed. Okay. Another option that is important here is selecting a language other than the language that you use normally. Actually, if I want to go to language, uh, I'm just using English. But if I was, for example, in Arab, I would need to have Arabic. If I want a French person, I would need to have a French keyboard here too. So for doing this, I can click on add a language. And as you can see, a list of languages are here. I can select a language name or writing system, whichever you want to. For example, I want to find Arabic. Or I can go to find French. So I say French, I need to go to F. That's French. Or even English. I can select English for Britain. English, where are you? English, E, F, F, G, E, must be here. <laughs> yes. I can select English. And click on Open. As you can see, here there are different, you know, um, keyboards, styles, or other settings for English. If I was, for example, British, I could use English United Kingdom and click on add. So the different setting of keys would appear on my keyboard. Let me go for French. If I select French, click on open, you can see again we have different uh, you know dialects of French. And I want to select French France. Click on add. Now that I have two languages in my list, I can uh, change those languages. You can see uh, uh, something appear, appears here. If I press Alt key on my keyboard and have it pressed, and then press Shift once, you can see the language changes to France. Again, if I have Alt key pressed and press Shift again, you can see that this way I can change between. Of course, I can go and click on the language list and select this, but this is harder than just, you know, pressing two keys in your keyboard. And whenever you do this, I can just select French. I can start typing French. You can see that the keys appear like this. If I select English, I just see the English. So that's the other thing that I showed you in control panel. Let me see if there is anything 
what I need to tell you right now. There would be only one thing about programs and features, and I want to talk about this in later sessions.